quarantine, day 13, March 30th. We stumbled across this in the woods. It looks like someone's building an underground bunker just in case this pandemic goes south. We're not sure what it is or who's building it, but we might move in. Assuming this is a rectangular prism, it looks like the area of the base is 875 square feet, and they're gonna dig it down to a depth of 23 feet. The length of this prism is 25 feet. They wanna wallpaper the sides and cover the bottom with carpet. If wallpaper costs 23 cents per square foot and carpet costs $1 and 25 cents per square foot, how much money do they need to finish this project? What up? What up my quarantine people? Back at it again. I'm going to dive right in because this is my second time doing this problem. Um, I spent about 15 minutes solving it the first time and I got it wrong because I wrote down the wrong number. Um, so that was very frustrating. So uh, just goes to show you that we all make mistakes, but it's always good to double check and have someone check your work. Um, so I'm going to start by doing my sides check, which if you're a quarantine math person or instructed beat subscriber, you should know what that is. If not, check out our song. Um, and my statement's going to say they need blank dollar dollar bills, y'all to finish the project, right? So when I, if I'm using this as my guiding light and you do need a guiding light because there are many, many steps, you're gonna look for anything about the dollars or the project that's gonna help you figure out the dollars, right? Um, so like I said, there's a lot of different steps here um, and I just messed, I literally had the right math. I wrote down, I'll show you where I messed up at. Um, but I just what I preach all the time, you got to take it one step at a time. You can't rush because even teachers make mistakes. And when there's a five, six step problem like this, you write down one wrong number and you, you might have done everything else right, but you get the wrong answer. Right. Um, and it's same thing if you work with money, if you're in the finance you know, industry. Right. You got to make sure you pay attention and write down the right numbers. Um, so I should have identified a lot actually here. Um, so it's 800, you know what, I'm not, I'm not even gonna identify everything. We're just gonna go through and solve it um, and use what was important at the time. Um, and the first thing is, and typically I don't draw this, but I do know for this one, I kind of need to visualize it, right? Um, and so there's a rectangular prism and it has a depth of 23 feet. Now, for us, what that means is that is the height of your rectangular prism, right? Some of you guys are like, well, Mr. Butler, depth goes down, height goes up. Not necessarily, right? If this is going underground, right? If this is the grass on top of it, then the height of the structure is 23 feet. Even though it went 23 feet down, it's still saying the same thing, right? It's 23 feet tall. Whether or not that it's going up in the air or down in the ground, from this point to this point is 23 feet. Um, so that might have thrown off a few people. So let's go ahead and label what we know. We know the height was 23, and then we know the uh, bottom, the square footage of the bottom was 875 feet squared, right? We got to label these. Um, and if the area of the bottom, or if the area that uh, sorry, if the area of the bottom is 875 square feet, the area of the top is also 875 square feet. And then we knew that there was a length of 25 feet. Okay, so that's what we know about a rectangular prism. But then we are trying to buy things, right? So it, and things were costing per square foot. So when we look at this question, you're gonna have to use your volume skills to picture, but really this is a surface area question because you're trying to cover the wallpaper of the four sides and then cover the um, area of the base. Now, if you notice, the thing you didn't need was the area of the top, nothing was going on the ceiling. So you don't wanna know the total surface area. You wanna know the surface area of the bottom and then you wanna know the surface area of all four sides. So let's go ahead and draw that. Um, and I'll kinda, I'll draw it right here. Okay, um, and so we know that, first of all, the area of the bottom, they're gonna put carpet on, right? So we already know the area of the bottom. We know it's 875 square feet. However, we don't know the width of this. Okay, so we're gonna use our area formula, and we know that it was um, 
85, or sorry, 25 feet long, and the area of the base is 875, we don't know our width yet, and we're going to need our width to help us find the other four sides that we need. So I'm going to use my area formula first, so area of the length times the width, and uh, the area, sorry, is 875 square feet. We know the length is 25, but we do not know the width. We need to solve for W first before we can do anything else. So we're going to use our fact family knowledge and rewrite this to solve for a missing factor using our inverse operation and do 875 divided by 25. And that gives us a width of 35 feet. So now we know that my width is 35 feet. Okay, so now I, I'm actually going to erase this um, so I don't have to do another piece of paper so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, but let me go ahead and erase it. So that's my first part. That's what That was my first step. I have to find all three dimensions to now help me find the surface area of the sides I need. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out a couple things. Um, some of it was being covered with carpet and then some of it was being covered with wallpaper. Okay, so the only side being covered with carpet was the bottom and so we have the bottom right here. We actually don't need to do any more work as, to, as far as to figure out the area because we know it's 875 feet squared. If each of those 875 square feet cost $1.25 to help us solve that, we're doing 875 times $1.25 because you're going to have 875 groups of $1.25. And that's going to give us the cost of the carpet. And when you solve for that, if, and we're not going to go over the multiplication part because if you're doing this challenge math, you, you probably know how to multiply decimals. But if you don't, if you need a reminder, go ahead and check out our decimal song. I'll link the um, link in our description for this video. So our total cost for the carpet was $1,093.75. Okay, so that's how much our carpet cost. But that's not the answer to my statement yet because I want to know how much I need to finish the whole project. Now I need to find the area of my sides that are going to be covered with wallpaper. And there's going to be four sides, right? Because I want to do the four walls. There's going to be the front, right? And the front is going to be the same as the back, okay? And that's going to be this wall right here. So I'll make that my red wall. Maybe it'll be red wallpaper, who knows, okay? And the front is going to be the same as the back. So the, um, the length of that side is... 35 and then the width of that side is actually the height of our prism right because we're trying to cover this we're making it a rectangle which is going to be 23 and when I multiply that using my area formula I get 805 square feet right so that means my length or sorry my uh, square footage of both the front and the back wall is 805 square feet but I also have the side over here right and the side wall, if I make that my blue wall right here, right, was 25 feet wide. And then if I scroll up just a little bit, right, the width of that is also going to be the height of my prism, which is going to be 23. And I know the two side walls are going to be the exact same wall, right, because we know that about a rectangular prism. And when I multiply that together, that the area of both of those walls is going to be 575 square feet okay now if you're wondering where I messed up the first time instead of writing down 805 I couldn't read my own handwriting and I wrote down 803 which threw my entire answer off I had everything labeled right I multiplied right I literally wrote down the number wrong okay so if I have I have these four walls the total square footage of them so I'm going to add up the square footage of each wall is going to be 2760 feet squared. Okay, again, I but I need money, and now I know that each of those square feet costs 23 cents. So I'm going to have 2,760 groups of 23 cents, and when you multiply that, you're going to get $634.80. That is how much the wallpaper costs for this bunker that they're building. Now I know my wallpaper, I know my carpet. I need to add those together to find out the total cost. And when I add those together, I get $1,728.55 was the total cost of the entire bunker decorating. 
okay? I don't know if they're going to have, you know, chairs and stuff. Who cares? If you have a carpet, you can sleep on that, right? Um, it's a bunker for the, you know, for a pandemic, all right? So who cares? No judgment. HGTV isn't going to come visit this bunker, all right? So if you didn't get that answer, go back and check each of your steps, just like I had to do, okay? Figure out, did you write a number wrong? Did you mislabel something? Did you not understand a step? Um, did you have tape diagrams? I had tape diagrams the first time. I'll be honest with you, it's getting late, almost close to bed, so I didn't draw them this time, which was I feel very, very bad about because I always tell people they need to do it all the time. Um, but my son is yelling, I need to go to bed. It's been a, been a long day, all right? Um, but yeah, have tape diagrams too, okay? Those are always important things. And so now you come back up and you're gonna write down your answer and your statement and it's gonna take $1,728.55 to finish this product project, all right? Thank you so much for checking out today. Please like and subscribe to the video. Be on the lookout uh, later this week for some guest quarantine mathers who are going to be bringing you your questions this week. Very excited about that. As always, when you get done with this problem, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. If you're feeling sick, stay inside. And as always, stay safe, do math. I'm out.